Capturing a real-world scene for 3D virtual viewing is currently extremely difficult. Users typically must choose between three strategies. They can capture a sparse and unstructured set of images and use an algorithm relying on global mesh estimation. These are typically slow and prone to unpredictable failures, resulting in a painful trial and error process. They can exhaustively sample a dense set of images at the Nyquist rate where the closest scene content only moves one pixel between subsequent images, then use light field rendering to generate new views. This is feasible for small baseline captures and guarantees high quality renderings, but requires thousands to millions of images for wide baseline captures. Finally, they can capture a grid of images below the Nyquist rate and use view interpolation techniques. However, State-of-the-art methods do not provide a guideline for how low the sampling rate can be for successful reconstruction, which again results in a painful trial and error process. We propose a simple and practical solution for view interpolation from images captured on semi-regular grids. We derive a theoretical bound that specifies how densely users need to sample a given scene. In practice, we apply this bound to capture and re-render real-world scenes at Nyquist view sampling quality while using up to 4,000 times fewer views. We train a deep learning pipeline that first promotes each sampled view to an MPI scene representation, made up of RGB alpha images, sampled evenly in disparity within a camera frustum. An MPI can render high-quality continuous views of natural scenes, but only within a limited local neighborhood. We leverage this to dramatically decrease the required view sampling density by promoting each input view to an MPI. We simply render novel views by blending together renderings from adjacent MPIs. We showcase our method's practicality with viewers that render novel views from our predicted scene representations in real time on both desktops and mobile phones. We demonstrate that our algorithm outperforms state-of-the-art view synthesis methods on a diverse variety of challenging scenes. We start with this scene of plants in a glass orb, containing complex geometry and reflectance effects. On the left, we see that classic light field interpolation, which blends input images reprojected to a constant depth plane, produces severe ghosting. The unstructured lumograph algorithm, which depends on a reconstructed global mesh, contains jarring artifacts when the mesh contains holes and in incorrect geometry, such as on the surface of the glass orb. The state-of-the-art Soft3D algorithm avoids harsh flickery artifacts by accounting for depth uncertainty, but this causes excessive blurring for ambiguous regions, such as the semi-transparent glass orb. Furthermore, it aggregates geometry estimation across large neighborhoods, which prevents accurate rendering of specularities. State-of-the-art deep learning-based approaches use a convolutional neural network to separately predict geometry and appearance for each rendered view, which often results in high-frequency artifacts, such as those around the orb's rim. In this example of a reflective pond, our method is the only algorithm able to accurately render both the plants floating on the water's surface as well as the specular reflection of the background. Mesh estimation typically fails for large reflections. Soft3D reasonably reconstructs diffuse objects but has difficulties with non-Lambertian effects on the pond's surface. Deep learning pipelines based on per-view geometry prediction display jarring flickering artifacts around occlusion edges, while our renderings are consistent across the entire camera path. In this example of a large fern with complex geometry, we see that our method is able to render convincing occlusion effects without the blur found in light field interpolation. It is notoriously difficult to estimate meshes where geometry edges align with image edges, leading to edge fattening effects in unstructured lumograph renderings. Soft3D's renderings contain excessive blur due to the difficulty of using classic stereo depth estimation for repetitive textures such as the fern leaves. Again, we see that backwards warping based deep learning algorithms produce excessive flicker around occlusion edges, while our renderings vary smoothly across different viewpoints. We demonstrate the robustness of our method by testing on 60 additional captured scenes. These videos were generated with an automated pipeline from input images to rendered novel views without any manual parameter tuning, demonstrating the robustness and practicality of our method.